Hi, I'm Mari. I hope your day is good and I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. Today, we're going to be reacting to the attack on male gamers continues by Sydney Watson. And this is a topic I am very passionate about because I am a gamer and I am so sick and tired of like guys being dunked on for, I don't know, playing games like like it's a crime. So excuse me if I might get a little emotional during this as like a fellow gamer. And well, with that, let's begin. Just, I don't know, in my opinion, I think that... I don't know, there's something a little bit childlike about it, a grown man to be playing games, and it is a huge, huge turn off for me, and I'm bloody glad my man doesn't play video Shane, games. I, don't I mean, if that's the case, if that's what our metric is, then man, I must come off as so childish. It's actually kind of interesting, too, when I see, like, women hating on other, like, women when they do VTuber stuff, because like, wow, you must be such a child, too. Like, I feel like these types of women are just some of the most boring and uninteresting people to talk to. I don't have anything meaningful to say about this. I just want to tell her to shut up. Same. Hi, my name is Sydney. Welcome back to hell. And as at least hell is warm place a couple weeks ago, but a lot of things were also happening during that time. Like the mystery of who is eating the cats. No, they're eating the dogs. The people that came in, they're eating the cats. And I why are we eating the cats and dogs? Why, why are we eating animals? Can we not? I needed to show you all my breakdancing prowess, okay? Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Like I said, a few weeks ago, the conversation, or the debate, if you will, around men- The debate. The debate of guys playing video games, really? Playing video games being unattractive was once <sighs> again resurrected. This has been going on for quite some- I really like her background over there. It's so pretty. ...time, but periodically, someone, somewhere, for some reason, brings it back up. And every time this happens, it seems that people want to congregate around the idea that men playing video games is bad and gaming is bad overall. So I hate that mentality so much, like, especially since I, I do a lot of work in esports and I constantly hear from like boomers and Gen Xers. It's and sometimes like millennials being like, oh, yeah, this gaming thing. It's like it's esports e is not just gaming. And also, like, there's just nothing wrong with playing games. Like if, if people like. If that is like their hobby and the fun thing that they want to do, let them have their hobby. It's a hobby. The people who play and for some people, it's an actual career because they're in esports and they're playing competitively and getting money for it. We like crocheting or something. Depressingly, when I started looking for videos on this issue, I actually came across this bizarre- New ick unlocked, watching my boyfriend play game. Okay, but like, he's just sitting there- Bouncing, being happy. Why are you such a hater? Oh my gosh. Like, I could never imagine dating somebody who would judge the things that I like to do. She would, I feel like I would not get along with this person. They would see all of my like anime figures and my Pokemon collection and my gamer subs waifu cups, and they probably would think there's like something wrong with me. Our trend on TikTok where women say that they're men being happy while playing. Listening to your man on his headset to his Xbox pals, ick activated i'm sorry but like he's is not even grammatically correct if the only thing that i'm being icked out is by how bad you can form sentence structures in games gives them the ick so there's that shut up kill yourself just <laughs> what the fuck? me to jupiter at this point. Anyway, this time, the conversation started when conservative commentator Liz Wheeler posted a, a graph of the hobbies women reportedly find the least attractive. At the top of the list was- Why is bird watching last and why is online trolling in the middle? So we're okay with online trolling, ladies. Playing video games, followed by collecting figurines, magic- Oh. Okay, so wait, girls are okay with gambling, like men wasting their money on gambling, but um, magic tricks, collecting figurines, and playing video hmm. tricks and online trolling. But apparently, we all love a good bird watcher. So that that's a win for the bird. That's files. weird. I have absolutely no idea. Not the bird watcher part. It's just weird that like. Who who are the sample of women that were being asked this? Like millennial women, I'm guessing. Yeah, what bird enthusiasts are called? Birder. Birder. Well, it's one. It's it's very similar to murder. Well, at least that's memorable. I guess that's an improvement on what the train people are called. 
Hooty Tooters. Trainees? Hooty Tooters. This oh. graph, which obviously is not based on real evidence, was posted along with Wheeler's commentary, which read, This is 100% true. Men playing video games- 100% true for who? You, Liz? Like, what? Is peak unattractive, beyond red flag, like deal breaker zone. It's weird so many dudes don't get this. After a huge amount of- I just think it's funny how like she's trying to talk for like all women, but like, I don't know, like Liz, what kind of guys do you like? What do you want them to do? Pushback. Also, isn't gambling considered gaming in some sense too? I'm pretty sure like casinos, they call it like game lounges and stuff, but it's like gambling. Wheeler followed up with a few additional posts, including another tweet where a woman wrote, women don't dislike video games because they're geeky. We oh my God, I thought this was the same person. I kid you not, this Allie person and Liz look really similar. We dislike them because they're antisocial and consumption-based. Like if a woman said TikTok or online shopping was her hobby. And that's cringe because like, why are you shopping on TikTok? Isn't TikTok like full of like scams and stuff? Like, I don't understand. You're saying like video games are geeky, but spending money on like scam advertisements on TikTok is okay? Look, I'm, look, I know I'm being a little judgmental on your hobby. If that is like your hobby, you like shopping on the scam sites. Okay, that's great. That is a waste of your money. But like, guys can do whatever they want for their hobby too. Whether they want to go fishing, want to go do like sports cars, or if they want to play games, like that's a hobby. Hobbies, when you play video games, you're actually doing something. You have to use a lot of motor skills and you have a lot of brain functions to like solve stuff, especially puzzle games and playing like, competitively. Hobby should include actually doing, making, or learning something. Uh, last time I checked, gaming is doing something? What? It is! It's relaxing and also like you learn a lot through video games too. There's actually a lot of different language learning apps that are used with video games. What is this? What am I even reading here? Doubling down even further, Wheeler also wrote that video games are sedentary, consumptive, fantasy steeped in immorality that have serious negative real-world side effects on the men who play them. And so isn't shopping on TikTok. This tweet was very long, so I'm just gonna summarize the generality of it, which was that video game- There are toxic hobbies women have too. TikTok, online shopping, real housewives, but this was never about a war between the sexes. But, but you're making it! It was never an attack on men, but you're- But you are attacking- I'm- I'm being gaslit right now. I am like- I'm actually being gaslit right now watching this. That's insane. You can't be saying that. Games are a net negative on society based on the fact that they reportedly lead to aggressive behavior, desensitization to violence, anxiety, mood disorders, and so on and so forth. She also asserts that- It's pretty simple. Women are attracted to men based on men's abilities to protect, provide, produce, and procreate. Ew. Hobbies that illustrate the ability- Hobbies that- Oh my god, this- I can't read, apparently, this. Hobbies that illustrate that ability are attractive to women. Hobbies that do not are not. What are we talking about here? Like, I'm sorry, but if it's fun for the guy, let him be relaxed. I don't understand what produce means. What are men producing? Semen? that women are attracted to men based on a man's ability to protect, provide, produce, and procreate. Hobbies that illustrate that ability are My attracted brain is to melting. women. Hobbies that do not, are not. Not to be a jerk, at least not intentionally, but isn't reading sedentary? And isn't buying random female crap for your house consumptive? Do you want to go and have a conversation with the immoral smut reading ladies over on BookTok? Don't get me wrong, um, that is a huge community and I do have some gal friends who are into that kind of stuff, but it's true, it's like, <laughs> like, I just think that she just doesn't like games and she has this weird stigma about games, and it's just really weird. Would you like to have a word? I really don't mean to be so sarcastic about all of this. It just no, you really should be. irritates me. Same. Of course, the icing on the cake here is the entire live stream that Wheeler decided to make about this topic. Oh my God, Wheeler. Wheeler. Addressing the blowback that she'd received and saying that lots of people were unkind to her about it. And Gee, I wonder why they were unkind. Gosh, it's so hard to like, it's really hard for someone who grew up playing video games and was constantly just like bullied for this kind of stuff to have to listen to someone like berate somebody else 
for their hobby. Like, bro, if you're that focused on someone else's life, are you really doing anything productive to provide for your significant other? It seems to me like you're spending a lot of time yapping and focusing negative energy on other people instead of producing, consuming, learning, and providing. You didn't like that, which honestly, like, yeah, fair enough. This video is really long and she burned through a lot of points very quickly and we don't have time to unpack them. But I oh overall gosh. felt really irritated watching Wheeler's live stream. And my takeaway was just generally, tell me you've never played video games without telling me you've never played video games. She again brought up that it makes people more desensitized and prone to violence because apparently we're resurrecting 90s talking points. I don't know. I don't know why people always bring this kind of stuff up. It's, it's kind of crazy because like look at her background. It is the most generic type of background ever. And what I mean by that is like those aren't even like books on her wall. She's got some plants and these statues I'm not trying to like sit here and like on her aesthetics all too much. But it is kind of funny how someone is making fun of somebody's hobby when it looks to me like her background, she doesn't have any hobbies of her own. I Her background tells me nothing about her personality. It's very sterile. And honestly, it's kind of depressing to look at. I just, I thought- Like, look at this. She's behind a blank wall. But you know why she has an actual like personality with, her, at least from what I'm telling, is her wallpaper right there. It's a beautifully animated wallpaper. That alone tells me like she's got some kind of interest in like fantasy. But we were over this. Look, I don't know Liz personally, and so I don't want anyone to perceive this as me attacking her because she seems like a nice lady. But I No, she really doesn't seem like a nice lady. Like, don't worry. I got your back as an anime girl because people like to just hate on me anyways. I got your back on this. She does not seem like a very nice lady. She seems someone who is very unpleasant to talk to. I do find her opinion and this extended opinion really frustrating. I think there's a trend on the right side of politics where some conservatives in particular like to fully reject and stomp on really important cultural and entertainment based mediums. And even if the intention behind that is a noble one, I still think it comes across as really controlling and fun policing. It is very controlling. People, I've talked to a lot of people who are like Liz and yeah, um, I've talked about this in a couple of different videos that I've been reacting to, but um, oh my god, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit mentioning her name. But like, I constantly get berated every single day at my job because I do stuff in esports and I talk to people who are like Liz and they literally just sit there and make fun of me all the time and honestly... They make my office day life a living hell. They're not pleasant people to talk to. And yes, they have the most generic sense of humor. Listen, even people with daddy issues don't want to be parented this hard. I mean, they do want something hard, but it, it's not parenting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All of this to say- I like this lady. She's funny. Okay, in the long run, I don't think it's very helpful, and I'm sure some of you will disagree with that, and that's okay. Feel free to scream at me in the comments. No! No! Anyway, about a week later, another video popped up where a woman called Bex from the radio show 102 Philly was similarly articulating why she doesn't like men playing video games. She said that it was lazy and generally unproductive. But so, so, like, you're telling me the pro players in Cloud9 who make thousands of dollars every month playing competitive video game are lazy and not providing or doing anything. That's crazy. But the whole gaming thing... <sighs> What's the problem? Jacqueline has this big problem too. It, 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 because it's just lazy it feels she doesn't even have a good reason she's like it's just lazy like unless you're getting paid and there's a line right like it's cool if you want to do it every so often but to me i'm like go educate like go do something productive but what is the problem like, you know, Jacqueline has a big problem with it, too. Whenever she hears the PlayStation start up, like, oh, I got to hear the go. huffing and puffing. Yeah. But if we were, to, if I were to just have TV on, you'd be on TikTok as it is, because not paying it's, attention. It's not that, so why does it bother you? Because, it, because it's not the distraction of... Just so you know, like, every time when he asks her, like, an actual, like, 
question. She like looks up because she's trying to come up with a lie, some kind of bullshit excuse for why she doesn't like something and trying to justify it. Me being on TikTok and us watching too. It's what you could be doing with that time. There so there it is. Like, okay, so if you're watching TV, it's okay. That that's what you're saying. Like, oh, if it's if you're watching TV and you're on TikTok, you're fine. But if you're playing a game and you're on TikTok, it's not fine. Yes, and I said I knew it. It's I knew what it. You, could... you wanna you women wanna task us <laughs> no, so no, no, bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed no, no, that we're taking no, time no. from doing something. No. Wait a minute, you're enjoying things? You have time to do this video see, game? Here's the thing. Oh, here's all the things but you could be doing. Here's the thing, you're enjoying it, but you could also be planning something nice for us. You know Okay, so what about if they're watching TV then? Would you still have an issue with it? <laughs> like I mentioned, this is not the first time that this type of criticism has come up. A couple years ago, three more women got a lot of heat online for making fun of men who game, with one of the women even suggesting there's a correlation between gaming and the being bad in the bedroom or having having small male genitalia. I'll be honest with you, not if I think of the top 10 best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre dicks. Well, I grew up as a gamer, so it was I okay know. with it. That was, that was I quite just, a, I quite a right with me. I, I got I excited I don't know too. What grown man I like how she's like trying to defend men and they're like, nah. And is spending that much time playing video There's games. There's a lot of really... grown men spending a lot of time and on I don't this think bullshit. That they're, that, I, don't, I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no, as a grown I, man. That's horrible to say. Like that is actually really mean. Oh my God. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to respond. That is just so mean. Spending time playing video games. If you're like... Ah, this is such a weird statement. Do you always judge the appropriateness of a hobby based on man pickles and their performance? Is You'd be surprised how many women do though. Like I know a lot of, um, one of the things that I hated talking about with some of my girl friends back in like high school was that they wouldn't stop talking about dicks and like men genitalia and like sex. And I would just be so bored from the conversation cause I'm like, I don't care. I really don't care. I, I don't care about someone's size. I, I, cr I like literally cringe when guys start talking about like their dick size and when girls talk about their dick size. That stuff makes me cringe genuinely because I don't care. I, I don't care about that kind of stuff at all. I know I'm kind of weird for saying that I don't care about what's in your pants. It's crazy, right? But I really don't. I just, I just want to know like if you're a good person and if the hobbies that you're doing are not hurting other people. I, I don't think that playing video games is hurting other people. Unless if you're sitting there screaming, calling a 13 year old the N word, then we kind of have a problem. Is this a legitimate metric? Why are people like this? I mean, oh. put me in the cannon and launch me to Jupiter. So I have a very vested interest in this topic, both as a woman and as a person who plays video games. Same. So I do feel that it is pretty important to come to the defense of male gamers, and I guess just really any gamer in general. Mm. Because if the criticisms that I've so far highlighted in this video are anything to go by, I think people's perceptions of this industry and those who enjoy games are completely off base. And I think it's generally wild to say that gaming is not a hobby, and if it is, it's one that's overall unattractive to women. Yet gambling is more acceptable for them like gambling is really bad it's super addictive and it's destroying lives and look i know i've seen that world of warcraft article too about the parents who like neglected their kids and stuff like i've seen that kind of stuff obviously when you are doing whatever hobby it is that you're doing if you're doing it to an extreme it's not good and it feels like a lot of these women who judge this kind of stuff they just don't really have a personality and i mean that in a genuine way because it's like they don't know anything about themselves like they don't want to explore anything that's interesting they don't want to like pursue something that could enrich their lives in some kind of way like they strike me as the type of person who needs to be the center of attention all the time because what else do they have to focus on besides like tiktok i guess it's just weird how they only focus on like TikTok and like what other people are doing. Like, girl, get a hobby, get, do something fun for yourself. Because I would argue in many, many cases, that is not truth. 
I mean, first and foremost, the gaming industry as a whole has changed dramatically over the last few decades, and video games have accelerated in scale and quality during that time too. Rather than games appealing to a small portion of people, now anyone anywhere can play them, which is why the industry has become so enormous. There are so many different stories being told, so many different ideas being explored, and let's remember, importantly, that the amount of women playing games has also grown more and more and is continuing to do so. There's a lot of games out there that are for women too, and like even my mom plays like some games now. She plays them mostly on like her phone, but still like gaming's for everyone. And there's a lot of education that comes by with gaming too. People learn like Minecraft coding is teaching kids how to actually program and learn coding in Python specifically through the Minecraft game engine. And no, Animal Crossing and The Sims don't count as gaming. Please stop this. Point being, video games themselves and the gamers who play them come in all forms and I don't think it's fair to tar everyone with the same brush. Yeah. With that said, I do understand why some people, some being the operative word, find gaming to be an unattractive hobby and I think there's a number of reasons for that. Look, it's fine if like you find it unattractive and I think it's fine if like you don't like it, but it's not fine to like shame and attack people because they have personalities and interests. Number one, when most of us millennials were growing up, which is what our friend Liz Wheeler is, we were- Of course she's a, of course she's a millennial. Only really then starting to see sort of a shift in the way that people viewed men and video games. Until this point, I think it's fair to say that gamers were largely associated with the basement dwelling dorks who played World of Warcraft from dawn until dusk. And whether- And look, even if you were that, guess what? There's nothing wrong with you for being that. Like, there isn't that view is true or not, whether it's fair or not, that's what was portrayed predominantly in media, entertainment, and by all the kids, all those boys that we went to high school with. I can actually testify to this because I fully remember my older brother sitting in the office all day playing WoW and sometimes painting Warhammer. I think he still paints Warhammer. To be completely fair to my brother, because, you know, he will probably watch this video, uh, he is in fact the reason why I like gaming at all. And I also remember sitting next to him, watching him play Spyro, because little sister. Now that I'm- Yeah, I used to play a lot of MMOs. Specifically, I was into Mabinogi, and I would spend hours and hours on that game all the time. Like, I really enjoyed playing that. I also play, like, Grand Chase, Fiesta. I couldn't play World of Warcraft because I couldn't afford the subscription, but I eventually got into, like, Final Fantasy XIV Online. And, like, I liked a lot of MMOs, and, like, I played all sorts of other different types of games, too, growing up. And it's just so weird how, like, like I said, if this is like your hobby and your interest, then that's fine. Like, I don't see these women sitting here shaming like K-pop stands or someone walking around with like Hello Kitty merchandise or Disney merchandise, right? Or who knows, maybe they would be the kind of people to judge that kind of stuff at this point. I'm thinking about it, I also remember his LAN parties with his nerd friends, so... Really, really love aging myself there. Anyway, this type of visual and this messaging has definitely been ingrained in a lot of us because it's also what we were exposed to in pop culture. And it's probably why a bunch of elder millennials and people who are older than elder millennials, especially view gamers through this lens. Actually, hilariously, when I was researching for this video, I found out that the attractiveness of male gamers and how much they game is still being studied because I guess this is a stereotype that never dies. The second reason, and I think this is more applicable across the board, is it is unattractive to come home to your man sitting on his butt all day playing video games. On the weekends, gaming. All day, gaming. Every single weekend, gaming. Can't pull himself away for long enough to spend time with you or to be a father or a husband or whatever. When it becomes an addiction that consumes you, yes. That is a problem and that is unattractive. And that is true because sometimes like there is like a fine line with that in any hobby where if you're playing it so much that it becomes addictive and you don't spend a lot of time with like your family or your loved ones. Yeah, that's obviously bad. I kind of have some issues with this for like YouTube because I spend so much of my time consuming YouTube content, making videos, thumbnails, scripting, recording, editing, that I don't really leave my office space. And sometimes like I don't spend a lot of time with like my family. Like my mom will just text me saying, hey, I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. And it's because I've been 
recording like 10 different videos for different YouTube channels that I run and then editing and scripting and doing all that stuff. And then like, yeah, I unfortunately I am a workaholic and it's not the healthiest thing to do. So does that make me unattractive? Maybe because like I'm very neglectful because of how much I work, which is why I have my animals. Like I have my dog and my cat. So I'm forced to get up and go take breaks and spend time with them. And I do. I actually do take breaks to spend time with them because my animals are important to me. So trying to find like that balance where if you are just playing games all day and you're not doing like anything else, then I could see that being a problem. But I don't think that's what these girls are mentioning. I think they feel like that about anything. And this is the primary criticism that I find online when it comes to men and video games. When my husband and I first got married, he was addicted to video games. So if your spouse is addicted- It says addicted to video games or sports. Addicted to video games or sports or anything, listen to this. But the thing is, if your man or a man doesn't have a gaming addiction, then what precisely is unattractive about this interest? At least in my experience, the women that I have come into contact with or that I'm friends with or that are in my family and whatever, don't really view a man's interest in video games as a good or bad thing. What's most important is how he balances his gaming with yeah. his life and its many obligations. Yeah. For example, back in 2020, a TikToker called Alyssa Nguyen actually had to come out and clarify that her gamer husband did indeed take care of her and her kids after she began uploading compilations of her bringing him his nightly dinners. She wrote, he does all his chores, daddy duties, and husband duties before getting on. What Dude, that food looked amazing. One person even asked Nguyen if she was happy with the amount of time her husband gamed. Nguyen responded, it doesn't bother me at all. He plays a couple hours a night after he gets home from a long shift. And honestly, I think this comment crystallizes a broader point. A lot of people, not only men, use video games as a way to alleviate anxiety, to decompress, to yeah. de-stress after a long day or a long week or whatever the case may be. And I can actually personally relate to this, and I've actually said this in other videos, where I find nothing more enjoyable after a particularly stressful day than jumping into whatever game I'm playing and just, like, hacking monsters. I don't know why, but, like, I am kind of the same way and unfortunately I don't play a lot of games anymore. Ever since I started taking YouTube more seriously, I am primarily just on YouTube and I'm only focusing on like making content, researching. I, I do a lot of reading now. I read a lot of books and I just don't have time to play video games as much as I would like to and it bums me out because I would like to be making more gaming content and just playing games to have fun and relax. I typically take like one one time out of the week to play games so that way i have like mari fun time for myself because it does help relieve a lot of like stress and anxiety and like i as you know the saying goes all work and no play makes a very very sad sad person and yeah that stuff kind of stands true to this day to death because it's cathartic and it stops me from committing murder. That is a joke, Mr. FBI man. I am making a joke. <laughs> Jokes aside, in addition to being cathartic, it is a good form of escapism. I watched one particular TikTok where a guy was describing escapism in video games as a bad thing, using it as an indicator of depression or a person mm. who hates their life. And that very well might be the case sometimes. This just reiterates that men yearn for the minds. But again, why do people People frown on this type of escapism, but not when it comes in the form of books or films or television shows. I genuinely yeah. feel like there's such an unfair double standard when it comes to gaming that isn't equally applied to other entertainment mediums. Yeah, I'm gonna need you all to stop that. In my opinion, the bottom line here is that gaming is, in fact, a legitimate hobby. And I will argue till I am blue in the face with whoever I need to argue with that many of us ladies would much rather a guy who games in moderation than one who is down at the bar or at the club every single weekend getting drunk. If Which is poison, by the way. Like, when you drink alcohol, you're literally poisoning yourself. So, like, I don't know, man. It's just kind of weird how we shame one hobby but not the other. 
you are a man and you enjoy video games, that does not make you unattractive. And yeah. frankly, it can actually be a really nice opportunity for bonding with your spouse or girlfriend. Mm. And I say this as someone who freaking loves couch co-ops. Like, I recently played the Untitled Goose game and it was unironically a lot of fun. I, I love that game. It is a lot of fun. I have to stay away from the platformers, though, because I, uh, I just let everyone down. <laughs> People who make the claim that gaming is antisocial and will turn men into murder factories genuinely don't seem to understand the nature of gaming and how community-based and collaborative it often is these days. A lot of modern games have a ton of multiplayer features and it allows you to do like, you know, the teamwork. In a time where people are super disconnected, the gaming world is actually pretty great at helping people make friends and create communities. I'll say as well that there are apparently a bunch of other measurable benefits to playing games, like improvements to cognitive functioning, yeah. problem solving, impulse control, yep. and so on and so forth, but I don't want to get into it, so uh, I don't know, I guess I'll link some of these in the description and you can read them in your own time. There are definitely way more things to add about this specific topic, but the one that I want to leave you with, the last thought that I have here, is that I definitely think that there is an online trend where people can't stand to see men doing things that make them happy. Men have video games and sports. What do women have? <laughs> I actually see this a lot. I mean, I don't know about you, but I have games. I draw. I read. I work on YouTube. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you don't speak for the rest of the women for saying that, like, it sounds to me like you have a skill issue. You have no personality, no passion, no goal in life. Girl, explore yourself and learn who you are as a person and go try something. Stop being afraid to eat your broccoli. Go try something new. But on Twitter, you might enjoy with it. With relation to women where people will post a video of women just doing something fun and silly and goofy and enjoying and, and And usually that fun and silly goofy thing is them scrolling on TikTok themselves and then this onslaught of comments and responses are mad that the women are having fun. I see that a lot here with this issue and I absolutely hate it when people do it to both of the sexes. Just shh. Let people enjoy things. Personally, mm -hmm. I'm really glad that gaming has become such a positive outlet for so many people. And as far as unattractive interests go, I think it's worth remembering that when it comes to hobbies and relationships, any hobby can become an obstacle, much in True. the same way that it can also be an asset. If you enjoy something or have a hobby or have a special interest that gets in between you and somebody else, or it is an all-consuming thing mm -hmm. that pushes everybody out of your life, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a problem. But if you can take an interest or a hobby or a thing that you love and share it with somebody else in an engaging way, or in a way for yourself that passes time but doesn't fill it, I think that's really positive, and honestly, I think that's really all any of us actually want. Yeah. In the end, if gaming is a thing that you can share with your wife or girlfriend, a thing that you can use to decompress, or even something that has helped you build a really strong community with friendships and positive experiences, no woman in their right mind would consider that a problem. That's true, especially since, like, I was able to build, like, a community and get to know, like, even like all of you who watch this and like write to me in the comments stuff. I love reading all of your comments, by the way. But it helped me like get to know people more. It was because of video games that I had the courage to want to go and talk to people. You've, sure, it might be online and it might be through like a camera and stuff like that. But gaming was like that gateway for me to become more social. So it's just interesting how like the argument is like, yeah, they become antisocial. When for me, I became more social because of it. And if they do, I think that says much more about that woman than the gamer himself. True. Now, on that note, and before I open the floor to all of you, this is just a reminder to check out Manu Cora using the link in the description. I unironically love this honey, so I'm really excited about this sponsorship, and I hope you guys love it as well if you decide to give it a crack. Now, I open the floor to all of you. What do you all think? Is gaming, in fact, unattractive? Are you one of these ladies who just thinks, yuck, <laughs> I'm not interested, I'm not about this, this is terrible? Are you a guy who thinks it's unattractive and terrible? Are you somebody who really likes gaming and likes to share that with your loved ones? Are you somebody who maybe is on the addiction side of things and you can see how bad and damaging all of this can be? It's actually kind of interesting when you think about it.